guess one for the video. What the fuck, dude? Wait, let it all my shit. Why did it open like that? Because you don't know how to open shit. You want candy camera. Well, honey, joke's on you. Almost time to get Gilbert. Tried being cool. This is what happened. Tried being cool, guys. I knew I should have got the scissors too, man. <gasps> okay, so I already put the egg in it. One, say two tablespoons. Two. I don't have a whisk, so I'm Mexican, so fork it is. Mm -hmm. I think I did it. Right. That's how we put egg and oil. No milk. That's how, folks. Alright. Are you supposed to put powdered sugar on top of it? Yeah. Before you bake it? Yes. Before I bake it, it's good. Think. Shape dough into 15 balls, about one one tablespoon each. Empty powdered sugar into small bowl. Roll balls in powdered sugar until coated. You know what that means? What? I have the powdered sugar in here. Already. We need to use this fancy, fancy thing. <laughs> <laughs> Close my cabinet. Oh, I'm using my power, but I can't. Oh, so fast. Mmm. Mmm. So obviously these are from the box, because obviously I am not Betty Crocker. Shout out to Betty Crocker. But I think that looks good, don't it? Mmm, yum! Okay, now they want me to do 15 balls. I'm gonna empty the powdered sugar. Okay, let's... Ooh, look, there's some in here. I don't learn my lesson, I know, guys. I'm using my teeth, though. That's so different. Well, it didn't do nothing to me. Like the other one did. I oh, got powdered sugar, guys. Mm. 
My son loves powdered sugar in his French toast in the morning. Babe, did I do it wrong? Was I supposed to empty it in here? Yeah. That's okay. Is that the powdered sugar? Yeah. You're supposed to mix it in there? Yeah. Not right now. I have to make Sure, my cookie room. I have to make the balls. Oh, make your balls. I'll be back. <laughs> I'm just gonna roll with it. Put olive oil on this. I ain't got no cookie sheet anymore. Hopefully it comes out good. This is the ending results. Y'all see them? Powdered sugar chocolate chip cookies. And they are gonna go in here. Okay, for how long? Ten to twelve minutes, and I like my crunchy. So we're gonna go with twelve minutes. Okay. So be done in 12 minutes. Check them out. The ending process. Wow, they look so good. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're doing a homemade video. I'm making homemade enchiladas with some homemade beans and homemade fideo. And it's about to be bomb. Stay tuned. Okay, now to get started in the enchiladas. Okay, these are my ingredients for my homemade enchiladas. I'm also gonna do some homemade fideo. And these are all my ingredients. I also, I'm gonna start making my tortillas right now. And I also have my homemade beans right in there. So I'm gonna pull them out, heat them up, smash them with the smasher, and then I'll get back to ya.
Okay, I have my chili in here cooking. Sorry, I don't have nobody helping me that can hold the pot. But I have my chili cooking. I have my beans, my homemade beans. My girlfriend made these actually the other day, so I put them in the fridge. So I'm just gonna put them right there and I'm gonna smash them after. But I also have my beef cooking and I'm trying to multitask, guys. Woo! Okay, look, my beef. You guys want to like chop it, like not chop it, but you guys want to like make it real small, the beef. That way it's nice, really rolled in your enchiladas. I actually, probably not a lot of people have tried this, but I mix my enchilada, not mix it, but I put some chili on top with no beans on my enchiladas. It gives it a nice flavor. I prefer the chili with no beans, but if y'all guys like the chili with beans, go ahead and do which one you guys like first. Okay, and then you add your garlic salt. I just put a little bit. Well, not a little bit, but that much. I never really measure my food. I just, I get used to making it over and over again, probably. And you only want a little bit of comino. This is comino. I just put onion salt and garlic salt in my beef. And those are the three ingredients I usually use on maybe all my foods. Okay, look at her getting the beans done yum you guys everything is gonna turn out very nicely and good and i cannot wait for you guys to taste them with me uh, <laughs> i can't wait for you guys to see the end results though i'm a cooker yes uh, <laughs> babe am i a cooker kind of right yeah a little bit or a lot a lot, a lot? i would say okay so this is my first time cooking my first time so let me know down below if you guys would like more of these cooking cooking videos. I'm sure you guys would because you guys can always buy the ingredients as well and cook with me. I can now be fun and you guys can taste what I taste in my mouth. <laughs> for my fideo, I like to add a little bit of oil on here. Fideo is similar to rice if you guys know how to cook rice, Mexican rice. I don't know if you guys know how, but... um. You actually, I like to fry my stuff like a little bit before because after you add water. So I'm gonna put some messy bay in here. My son loves to there. Should I just cook it all, babe? Mm, no. No. She said no, and I just poured more. Fuck. Sorry, babe. Do what you got. It's just a little. It's just a little. A little bit. So I like to get all my fideo, this. I like to get it all drenched in the little oil I put in there. Okay. And now it's just a pan of front. Right, okay. And I, would, I just like to brown it a little bit and then I'll add my water, okay? And this is the brand I'm using today. It's called La more than a I don't know something like that but in the bottom right here it says fideo you know I should let you guys know it says fideo right there you see it okay fideo and this is what I use it is in mmm starting to get brown guys and my chile my enchilada chile is already my enchilada sauce it's already Ready to dip them tortillas in. My beans are already ready. I smashed them. Homemade, of course. 
my homemade fideos cooking up and I got the chili right here with no beans guys after you guys have your whole fideo browned you want to add water and let it boil and then you can add your seasoning okay guys so the fideos take another like, so the fideos takes quick to cook so here's the seasonings once again onion salt I put it in and I put my gomino. And sometimes I add cans of tomato in it. Sometimes I add these in here. They're basically almost the same as tomato. It's like tomato. A little seasoning. It's called caldo de pollo. Okay. Wait, why pollo? Not this one. Wrong one, sorry, guys. I was wondering. Here. This one. Same, but that was caldo de pollo. I usually, I usually use that one for I usually use that one for my caldo de pollo. But this one is caldo de tomate, so this one has a tomato flavor to it. And you want to add this onto your fideo if you don't use your tomato pans, because I know some people use tomato pans. I like this right here, it gives it the flavor. The squares. There's also like a color version of that. Okay, I don't have any more guys, but there's also like it comes in a powder version or like blocks like this one. Okay, it's time to roll. So these are the corn tortillas. Is there a light I can use in here maybe? More? Can this one yeah, you want to please? Thank you. I'm gonna take a sip on my water. Ooh. Maybe you bring me a chair, please. Maybe. Maybe. I know. Bring me a chair, please. It's at 6 30 today. Okay. Okay, now that the tortillas are dipped in the hot sauce, the sauce thing, you want to, oh, this is hot. Be careful because it's hot. So you want to, here's my beef right here, guys. I washed my hands, of course, you already know. Then you start putting your beef. Can you see? Okay, you guys can see. Baby, can you open that? Oh, I forgot to put the cheese in the bowl because I don't like to put my whole hands in there. Can you pour the cheese in here for me, please? Sorry guys, I'm unprepared. First time ever doing this. <laughs> just go, just go with it. I got it, baby. Thank you. Oops, oops. Okay. Enchiladas. Want to make a fat? You know, fat for everybody to enjoy. Get full. Everybody knows how to roll coke. Is Roll enchilada. Oh my 
Okay, sorry guys, my phone died. So you're gonna put these in the oven. Look how nicely done and good they are. You're gonna put them in the oven for about 325 just for the cheese on top to melt, guys. Okay? Drop them. Should I melt it more? Well, that's good. That's good. That's good, right? Okay, this is the ending result. Yum. What do y'all guys think? Oh! It's okay. I guess you gotta show. Clean it up, baby. Guess what I did, guys? Guess what I did? Guess what I did? Can't believe it. I dropped my phone into the enchiladas. Okay, this is the ending result, guys. Mmm. All done and melted. Yum. Okay, guys, my food is done. Check it out. The ending. Enchilada, fideo, and homemade beans smashed. Yum. And I'm just gonna uh, take a bite with y'all so you guys can see how good it looks. I can let you guys know how good it all tastes. Mm, I tasted all three mm -hmm. at the same time. Look at that. This is y'all see that? Mm. Mm. Yeah. Isn't that good? Mmm. I did an awesome job. You guys should try this out. Yummy. 
the fideo came out good as well. Now let's try the homemade beans. Taste all of them mm. at the same time. Everything came out so good, guys. Thank you for joining me, joining me in this video. And if y'all guys try this recipe, let me know down in the comments what you guys think about it. And if y'all guys would like to see the video of homemade beans, because I know I didn't do it on this video, because you know it takes like about six hours to make homemade beans. Let me do. Let me know also down below in the comments if you would like to watch a video for that as well and thank you for tuning in don't forget to like subscribe share the video and i'll be back with another video one more thing before i end the video um tomorrow i'll be dropping a video to let you guys know how to enter for the giveaway because i already hit 100 subscribers Woo! yay me so tomorrow i'll be dropping a video for, to let you guys know how to enter the giveaway okay bye